Greetings, it's Ian from RTO here. Welcome to a marathon ranking. And today we've got a viewer's request. Well, someone asked for Mungo Jerry. Not a person, Mungo Jerry are a band and they were formed in 1970 by Ray Dorset in Ashford, Middlesex. And also known as the Mungo Jerry Blues Band as well. Um, they came to prominence after their performance at the Hollywood Music Festival in Newcastle under Lyme. And their name is actually inspired by the poem Mungo Jerry and Rumple Tills from T.S. Eliot's Old Possum Books of Practical Cats. They've actually supported quite a lot of people like Black Sabbath, Traffic, Ginger Bakers, Air Force. And do you believe they have released 20 albums? Now, a lot, a lot of people know that. So we'll crack on today because of things. Now, there's not much information to gather of who plays on these albums. So where there is no, I couldn't find it, you won't know. But I will say when that, no, I did find them. So coming in at number 20 from the year 2001 we have an album called candy dreams now the first track on here is called so lonely it isn't too bad uh it's got a good guitar solo on it um it's a little on the poppy side for me but it's not that bad next track is a girl with a girl like you not just not very good it's too poppy the vocals are terrible ray doesn't sound very good on this didn't like it one bit now the next track is d y l l w m shocking it's probably the worst track i've that's been recorded under the monocle of mongo jerry it is awful cheesy keyboards cheesy this cheesy everything it's not very good folks in the um in the middle of the night, it's sort of uh, okay. It's got that sort of stompy Mungo Jerry sound, but it's just too synthy. Um, then we have Are You Ready for Sex? Hmm, interesting title, isn't it? Same old. Uh, no, very twee. Didn't like that. Jump up and down, another shocker. It's got drum machines on it. What's going on there? Talk is cheap. If I didn't know this has said got Mungo Jerry at the title, I wouldn't have known I was listening to Mon Mungo Jerry because it just sounds nothing like the Mungo Jerry I like. Loving. Uh, it sounds songs like it's being sung by a club band. Not very good. Hippie high high. The keyboards are awful, the vocals are horrible, drum machines, no, we don't want that. Where are you? Terrible again. It's nothing what I like about Mungo Jerry. But the best song on here is a thing called No More Woman Blues. It's got harmonica on it, it's a good little rocker, and it does sound like Mungo Jerry. Make Me Happy, bit of a filler track there. Feels like I'm in love. <laughs> Sounds like another residential club band from a caravan club. Wind up at a time. Probably one of the better tracks on the album. Uh, it's got a bit of a Caribbean feel to it. I do like that. And then for some reason they do another. They do it in a summertime 2001 version. All I'll say: Why mend something that isn't broken? Yellow gloves. all right and then they do another version a radio mix of one year at a time don't know why yeah some really bad songs on this not for me thank you very much and i'm going to give it three out of ten because it has actually got a couple of songs i like on it okay coming in at number 19 from the year 1981 we have time together um Again, there's no, all we know that Ray Dorset is singing on it. 
Okay, the first track is Time Again. This is a very middle of the road track. It's an all right vocal from Ray. That's all what we'll say. Rocking on the road. Yeah, this is a bit disco-y. A bit three years behind everyone else, but it's disco-y and it doesn't seem to fit. Then we have Margarita. Bit of a wishy-washy song. Not for me. Heart on Fire. It's a proper sort of stompy song. It, it's it's not too bad. It probably is the best track on this album. Then we have Knocking on Heaven's Door. Um, of course written by Bob Dylan. But this is in the vein of the Eric Clapton version. And to be quite honest, it's not a bad version. Then we have Stay With Me, which is terrible. It's just... I, I can't describe it. I didn't like it. Miss You Tonight. One of the better songs on, on here. Nice vocal from Ray, by the way. Come Deeper. What's going on here? This is just awful. Nothing to do with uh, Mungo Jerry. Something on the mind. It sounds more like Smokey than Mungo Jerry. It's quite a nice song, actually. I don't mind the song, but it's, as I said, it sounds more like Smokey. How Can I Live a Lie? It's okay. Again, not a very memorable album. It's a bit glammy in places. There's one or two highlights on it. So I shall give this one an RTO ranking of 4.5. Okay, from 19, number 18 from 2015, kicking back and playing on here is Ray Dorset, lead vocals and guitar and blues harp, John Pat Playle on bass, Toby Hoonsman on keyboard, and Bob White on the drums. Now, it's a sort of an album that's got other, from other albums. We've got Wiggle, Wiggle and Waggle from, from old, shoe, old Shoes, New Jeans, which we'll talk about later. Kicking Back, When She Comes Run Over Me, that's another track. 100 Miles, that's alright, I like that track, nice little rocky track. I Had a Dream, it's a live sort of track, in the studio, it's a bit of a jam. La La La, yeah. Then um, One More Night Without You from Old Blue Jeans, and The Wind Is Blowing from When She Comes Around, which we'll talk about later. Um, and there's a track on a Would You Like to Ride. Really rockabilly song, I don't mind that. Then we have a Wiggle Waggle drum solo version. Who wants to know that? that? Yeah, Strange Album. It's got some really good original tracks on it, some rehashes of others. I don't know. Uh, but I'll give it an RTO ranking of 5 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 17 from the year 2007, we have got When She Comes, She Runs All Over Me, which is accredited to the Mungo Jerry Blues Band. So you've got backing vocals and lead guitar, Michael Powell, bass and percussion, Klaus Vensk, drums, Klaus Otto, keyboards, Atim Pats, and vocals and rhythm guitar, Ray Dorset. We have another version of Married Woman Blues, which was on, no it's not, it's, not, it's, a, it's a different track, forget that one, I'm not going to stop, start it just for that, yeah it's a track called uh, Married Woman Blues, lovely song, great vo vocal from Ray on this, but it's a fantastic blues track, I like that, Feeling the Blues, I love the harmonica on that, really is a good track. I Had a Bird, my favourite track on here, the bass line is great, the vocal is that sort of richy, gravelly, Ray Dorset vote. When she comes, she runs all over me, great little blues number, the guitars are great, like that. My Own Country, a little bit overproduced. It's all right. Kicking Back, which is a good old sort of Mungo Jerry track like that I miss you one of my favorites on here maybe a little bit smooth in production but it's a nice tune 
Where You Are, The Humming Song. Time to get that club band out again. Not very good. The wind is blowing. It's not too bad, but it hasn't got a great guitar solo on it. Lovely Holy Day. I like the guitars on this. It's not overproduced. It's very natural. A good album with some nice songs on it, but it's a little bit uh, manufactured blues. Smooth, overproduced. So I shall give this one an RTO ranking of 5.3. Okay, coming in at number 16, we have an album from 2011 called Cool Jesus. On here is, of course, Ray Dorset. With lead vocals of guitars, blues harp and kazoo. Bass guitar, Winnie Martin. Drums and washboard, Martin Troik. Keyboards and banjo, Fourth Torsen Ludewald. So the first track is the title track, and it's the best track on the album. Cool Jesus. The highlight for me are the drums. I love the drums on the end of the harmonica. It's quite a rocker. John Henry. The sound is a bit weird on this. Um, it's very quiet. I don't know if it's a bad um, production, but it's a shame because the song's good. Far away. We've got some washboard on it. You can't beat a bit of washboard and thimbles, can you? It adds to the track. Let's rock. Solid song. Lyrics are a little bit... Thing. Anything that says let's rock, you know it's going to be good. Give us a song. Bit of a country song, this is. Nice vocal from Ray. Hello, baby. A good track. I love the bass line and the acoustic guitar. Works well. It's got that gentle tap of the drums. Just her way. A little jolly tune. Nice little fun tune from Mongo Jerry. Going up the river. Nothing special. Bit filler track there. You can get it if you want it. I love these little rocky, bluesy numbers. Pretty good. I lie awake just to regurgitation of Baby Jump. Nothing special about that. Red Leather and Chrome. Bit mediocre. Lucky Girl, another filler trap. And it's the prominent line, Lucky Girl. I think they run out of ideas on that one. I want to live in the sun. Ah, very filler. Praying so hard. Bit of a solid track. Then we get He's Got the Whole World in the Hand. Yeah, a bit different. Mama Don't Allow. Proper sort of skiffle song. Washboard. Nice sort of bow. Bass sound. Pretty good. Give us a song when a refrain. There's 17 songs on here. Why do we need another bit of this? The only cri I've got the criticism on this, there's far too many songs on here, there's a lot of filler. But there are some good songs on this as well. So I'm going to give that one an RTO ranking of 5.5. .5. Okay. Coming in at number 15, from 2007 we have Naked from the Heart. First track is Motorbiking, and yet again we've got another rehash of Baby Jump, which is not a particularly favourite song of mine. Yeah, there's a bit of a story going on, and that's all I'd say I can say about it. Um, Ballad of a Teenage Queen. It's got a country sort of shuffle to it. It's not too bad. Make me happy. Not a big fan of this one. Bray's voice sounds a little bit off on that one. Um, Come on, baby. It's got that sort of Mungo Jerry sound. It's okay. Hey, Jip, dig the slowness. Not a bad track. Love the guitar on that. Then we've got Play That Funky Music. It's all right. <laughs> then we've got to Go To Sleep. Lots of harmonica on this. Pretty cool. I like that. Hippie Cat Mama. Favourite track on here, which is a very good rockabilly track. Love Ray's vocal on that. Ten Little Women. It's a bit of rock and roll shuffle. You can't go wrong with a bit of rock and roll shuffle. Everybody Wants Some Mellow Track. A bit of a jump up and... Yeah. I'm a liar. I like the beginning of this. We've got cello, 
Spanish guitar, double bass. One of the best songs on the album. I've got my eyes on you. Ray's vocals will sound a little bit uh, off the key on that one. Let's go. Very uh, jammy sort of blues session there. We will never be be alone. Nice track with some lovely harmonica on that. I walked everywhere. Another sort of rock and rockabilly song. Can't go wrong with that. Staying at home, same old ploddy plod jump, boom, boom, boom sound. It's all right. So again, it's one of those albums that sixteen tracks, a lot of tracks, and uh, I think they will cut this album by about three or four tracks. It's a better album. There's a lot of filler on this, but if the tracks are good. I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of five point six. Okay, coming in at number 14, I think this is the most current album, and it came out in 2022, and it's called Some Light. The first track on this one is called Midnight City. It's really good. Ray's vocal sounds fine. Really catchy tune on that. Lord, what have we done? Bit of saxophone on this, but it was, it, I love saxophone, but this is irritating saxophone. Didn't like it. The saxophone on it didn't need it. Whole lot of rhythm. My favourite track on here. It's got a lovely bluesy piano, and I love bluesy piano. Uh, excellent track. The lockdown thank you song. Another song about the lockdown. Everyone jumped on the band modern, even Mungo Jerry, and it's done in their formidable style. Happy to be. Real mishmash. It's just about three songs thrown together. It doesn't work at all. Country Woman, another good track. Bluesy sound, but with you know, really solid track. Let's do it again. This goes on and a bar. It keeps saying, "Let's do it again" for five and a half minutes. That's the color of love. I don't know. It's a regurgitated old stuff. Doesn't work, you know. It's got bit you can hear bits of in the summertime on it and baby jump again, but it's all right. The right song, a bit bizarre, doesn't fit on the album. Home Alone, this reminds me of the animals. Uh, how they used to do their songs. And then we have Coronavirus Blues. Another song about coronavirus, but it's quite good, actually. And the last track is called A Plea for the Planet. Great bass line, but it's one of them sort of conscientious about the world and all that. But it's not a bad track to end the album. This is not a bad album. Um, they're just using, you know, taking old songs and sort of mixing them up and calling them something different. Um... So I should give this one an RTO ranking of 6 out of 10. Right, time for a drink. Okay, coming in at number 13 from 1997, we have Old Shoes, New Jeans. On here we have got Mungo Jerry on vocals, harmonica and guitar. Accordion is Steve Hill. Bass guitar, Les Calvert. Drums and percussion, Simon Baker. Keyboards and harmonica, Dino Baptiste. Percussion, Mick Frampton. Saxophone, flute, Richard Parody. Slide guitar, Tim Green. And the first track is called Partio. Now this is a cross between the Willie and the Hand Jive and Bo Diddley songs. It's alright. I like that. Beautiful Window. A bluesy song, uh... I like that. Really is a good track. Um, Birthday Blues. It's sung in the vein of a BB King style track. And I really like it. The guitar works good. It's got everything about it. It's very BB King. Um, One More Night Without You. Standard Blues. Nothing wrong with it. I like Standard Blues songs. Bottle of Beer, it's a bit of a boogie woogie track. I like a little boogie woogie, especially on, on the guitar sounds. 
Talking of boogie woogie, we boogie all the way, and it's my favourite track. It's got a honky tonk piano on it, bit of saxophone, just a good old track. Then we have Wiggle and Waggle. I love this. It's more boogie, good sound, new pair of jeans, brilliant little blues, standard blues rhythm. But who cares? It's just the blues. I like that sound. Unloved, Unwanted. Some nice guitar work on that. I did like that. Then we've got I Got the Blues, which is a very slow number. Great vocal from Ray on that. Terrific. And that was the last track. A really good album. I love listening to this. I've now added this to my collection uh, on the iP on my iPod, and I'm just really getting into this album, so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 6.2. Okay, coming in at number 12 from the 2019, we have Touch the Sky. Two bass, we've got three bass players on here. Ray does a couple of tracks on the bass. Darren Jones does a few. And John Playall does some as well. Cello is frankly Klassen. Drums is Bob White. Keyboards is Toby Hunsman. Additional keyboards, Fraser Bennett. Saxophone, Adam Davy, and Howie Kelsey. So the first track is the title track, Touch the Tie Sky. Sorry, It's my favourite um, track on here. I love the keyboards. It's very Dave Greenfield from the Strangler sound. And he, he had a unique sound didn't he and I love that track that reminds me so much of the Stranglers um, you'll be sorry nice guitar work here the drumming's great it's a so rhythm and blues song can't go wrong with that one rhythm is a healer another good song I like the rhythm guitar on and it keeps the track going really good I'll be a hippie till I die a typical sort of Mungo Jerry song from the good old days of you know in the summertime if Only I Had a Dollar, a very fun track, nice writing. One More Night Without You, again, we've, this has been on, um, again, it's that slow blues, the saxophone's good on this, very good. The Old Apple Tree, not a fan of this, it's a bit dreary and whiny. Going down to Mexico, it's okay. Then we have Black Girl. A live version of the Lead Belly, Lead Belly song. Very good. La La La. Ooh, yeah. A live version of Touch the Sky. A really good album. Don't need live tracks on my book. I've forgotten about them. And just concentrated on the studio stuff. So I should give that an RTO ranking of 6.3. Okay then. Coming in at number 11. From the year to... 2003, and this has gone down as a Mungo Jerry Blues Band album, and it's Adults, Adults Only. Playing on here, of course, is Ray on guitars and percussion, bass Klaus Vensk, um, drums Klaus Otto, electric guitar, acoustic guitar and percussion Michael Paul, harp organ and electric piano Atim Pates, and the first track on here is Statesboro Blues. It's a blind Willie McTell number, and they do a fantastic version of it. Great, great track. Morning Dew, which is a Bonnie Dobson number. Very good version of it as well. With a girl like you. It's just an original song, and the guitar tones is brilliant. Then they do a great version of Louis Jimmel Olden song, Going Down Slow. Classic blues song, my favourite song on this album. It's a great version. Then we have uh, a song written by Amos Milburn, but made famous by John Lee Hooker. It's the brilliant One Bourbon, One Scotch and One Beer. A great version. I've never heard a real bad version of this. George Sotheragood did a version of it, of course, as well. I Can't uh, Wait Until Tomorrow. One of the original songs here. It's really, really good. She Loves Me Like a Woman, another original bluesy song, great track. We've Got to Get Out of the Army, Old Fashioned Mungo Jerry, like that. Uh, then we have uh, All I Want to Do, it's got a very 60s feel to it, it's an excellent track. Um, Rock Me Mama, love the harmonica, that really makes the track great. 
Then we have a Rachel song, St. Peter, Florida Blues. Ray does a great vocal on that. Super. I just can't say goodbye. Second favourite track on here. It's a boogie woogie track with a lots of um, harmonica. And then they do open up from an album and it's live. I uh, really like this album. One, again, another one that's been added to the collection. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 6.4. So we've got to the top 10. So at number 10 from 1991, we have Snakebite. First track on here, it was called Snakebite. It starts off with a little bit of slide guitar, and I love that. Gets me in. Brilliant stuff. All I want to do is solid. Very solid number. Remember me, dominant thing on here is the bass line and a very, very good vocal from Ray. Sugar in the bowl. Lots of lardy dars in here and skiffle sort of sound. Uh, rock and roll, rock and roll, does what it says on the tin. Great little rocky number there. Heartbreak Avenue, solid. Pick a bell, cotton. Very country skiffle with kazoo in it. You can't beat a bit of kazoo, can you? Red leather and chrome. Not a fan of this. It's really wishy-washy. Jesse James. Song about Jesse James. It's cool. I like that one. Right on. Definitely my favourite track on the album. It's just good old-fashioned rock. Some great riffs and a great vocal from Ray. Pretty solid album, actually. Enjoyed this album again, and I'm going to give this one an RTO ranking of 6.5. Okay, coming at number 9 from the year 1972. Boot Power. Um, Ray is on percussion, which is the Stomp, Kazoo, Blues Heart, Tambourine and lead vocals. Keyboards, John Pope. Vocals and bass, John Godfrey. Drums, Tim Reeves. Mm. Um, first track on here is Open Up. I've always liked this. It's a good old-fashioned boogie track with stomping and having a good time. She's Gone. I think by this time, the band had started to get sound tired already. They, they were just regurgitating previous sounds. It's not too bad. Looking for my girl. Um, I like the keyboards on this. Pretty good. Uh, then we've got See You Again. Sounds a little bit ordinary, nothing special. Demon, I really like this track. It's my second favourite as well. The little bit in the middle with the keyboard and the vocal over it is in that sort of military drum beat works well. Me and my, me, my girl and me, solid enough, it's okay. Sweet Mary Jane is a lovely little quirky track. It's got a bit of bongos on there. The guitar is good, the bass is good. Lady Rose. Very similar to In the Summertime. Um, going down the dusty road. Here we go. A bit of baby jump with different lyrics. Um, brand new car. It's a great track, but the recording doesn't sound good. I don't know what's going on there, but it is a good song. 46 and on. Bit lame. Bit boring. It is a good album in places, but you know, even in 1972, they seem to be on the wayward spiral down. It's it's a shame, really. Um, but um, I do like a couple of the tracks of Good Rocker, so I shall give this an RTO ranking of 6.6. .6. Okay, coming in at number 8 from 1971, you don't have to be in the army. So Ray on here, he's got guitars, kazoo, accordion, harp, tambourine, bongos, claves, maracas. Colin Earl does piano and vocals. John Godfrey's on the bass and organ and electric piano. Playing acoustic guitars, harps, whistling, jug, kazoo, Paul King, and washboard, Joe Rush. First track is called, You Don't Have to Be in the Army to Fight a War. I like this. It's got that sort of... Uh, Sort of skiffy sound, and I like the harmonica on there. Ella Speed. Here we go. A little bit more of Baby Jump with different words. Pigeon Stew. 
lots of lardy dars in this typical sort of uh, Mongo Jerry track. Take me back. I love the whistling on this. It's a quirky little number. Not so heavy on the drums either. Really works right. Give me love. A proper 12 bar boogie shuffle track. I love the guitar on this. I like anything that's got a good shuffle to it. Hey Roslyn. A quirky number with a nice guitar piece on it. Like that. North Coat Arms. Some of the recordings and the production don't sound very good. It's a shame because it's a good mm. song. There's a man going around taking names. Typical Mungo Jerry Chuck. Suck, uh, nice singing, excellent track. Simple things, it's a simple arrangement with a bit of a recorder or something. Really good. Keep your hands off her, kazoos, banjos, love it. Real proper stompy sort of track. On a Sunday, another track that's got lots of quirkiness and great piano. Make it up as you go along, sort of thing. The old Dust Storm, the last track, it's got a hillbilly feel, it, feel to it. Lots of kazoos on this. I like it. It's fun. A good track to end the album. An enjoyable album with a new with a unique sound. That's why I'll describe that. And I'll give it an RTO ranking of 7 out of 10. Okay, coming in at number 7. In 2019, we have Extreme. Playing on here is Ray Dorsett, of course, with his vocals, guitar, banjo and the jug, blues, harp. Darren Drones and Ray Dorsett take turns in the bass. Frankie Classen on the uh, cello. Drums by Bob White. Keyboards Toby Hoosman. Saxophone Adam Davey. And Britta Dorsett. Additional sax. Now Britta Dorsett is Ray's wife. First track on here is a little number called Stray Dog. Really like this. I love the groove. Love the keyboards. Gotta have a plan, a nice funky bass line. It's a funky old track and I do like it. Hey Mr. Teacher, a good old fashioned boogie track with a bit of sax. Can't go wrong. We've got White Dress and this is where Mrs. Dorset plays the saxophone. It's got a bit of a uh, reggae beat to it and I do like it. Really good. Then we have Ten Foot Blank Bank Roll. Fantastic guitar solo on it. It's got a groove. Messing Around is another good track. It's got a bit of a 40s feel to it with a bit of banjo. It works perfectly. Flying on the Gravy Train. Second favourite track. In here. I love that combination on here of the saxophone and guitar. Work well together. Come to the Party. A good fun boogie track. Lots of energy. Uplifting track. And a great vocal from Ray. I do like that. Hard working stranger, Hammond organ at the beginning, the great bass line. And then we get the wind is blowing again. It's, and it's not a bad version, it's a better version than the original actually. It's a really good song. I thought this was Mungo Jerry's best album in a long, long time. Uh, I was pl totally blown back by this album and I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7.2. Okay, coming in at number six from 1978, it's Ray Dorsett and Mungo Jerry. Got another version of Sugar Mama, and I like this one. It's better than your other one, and it's really good vocal from Ray. Hello, it's you again. It's a really good track. Very simple guitars. Great vocal from Ray on that one as well. Let's make it. It's okay. I don't mind that. Hooray, it's party time. I'm not a fan of a live track in the middle of an album. I don't know why they do it. I don't know why bands do it. It's all right. Good time, good time. Good old-fashioned rocker. But again, it's a live track. Baby Ride My Train. Favourite track on it. It's got that sort of classic Mungo Jerry sound to it. Stomping your feet and clapping and thing. Oh, we're okay. Now this is almost a glam rock song without that heavy double drumming. But I really like it. It's a really good track. Give it all you got. It's a busky track and it's really good. Um, get up and dance. A bit disco-y. Not a fan of that one. Uh, get 
can't get to tell can't get to to, to you sorry uh it doesn't sound right it's a bit of a filler that one shadow of the trees i love this it's just boogie woo boogie woogie music after the last two tracks you needed something a little bit up beat pretty good album a couple of tracks on here that don't really affect but i'll still give it an rto ranking of 7.3 oh i'm really thirsty today that's better okay coming in at number five from 1974 it's the long-legged woman first track is long-legged woman in Dressed in black, good old-fashioned rocker. The piano's great. I love rock and roll piano. Then we have a track called Glad I'm a Rocker. Another great little track. Some of the piano at the beginning is fantastic. Really sets you up. My favourite track on here is the thing Gonna Bop Till I Drop. Just good old-fashioned rock and roll. Nice guitar solo on that. I like that. Wild Love. It's spawned by the backing vocals. Don't really fit. O'Reilly. Yet another rehashed Baby Jump. You can sing the words to Baby Jump on that tune. The Sun is Shining. I don't know, it sounded good and it sort of fades out. I think, I don't know if it's one of those tracks that I got bored with and just ended it. Summer's Gone. Sounds too much like in the summertime. Sorry. Don't Stop. Very Jerry Lee Lewis. Piano playing. I like that. Going back home. Proper boogie woogie on that. Love that. No Girl Reaction. Second favourite track here. It's got a real heavy riff with a really boogie bass line. Little Miss Hip Shake. Just, just go good old rock and roll. Then we have Milk Cow Blues. Now, this is an old song that goes back to the 30s. A lot of people have co um, covered it. Aerosmith have done a version of it. And Willie Nelson has. It's a good track. Uh, however, I've never heard a bad version of Milk Cow Blues. I don't want to go back to school. Love this song. Um, pretty good. Boogie woogie stuff. Um, all right, all right. Another good track. Another piano track that's brilliant, and it's a great track to end the album. Pretty solid album, but some of the production on the tracks is a little bit bleh, but it didn't spoil the album. It's, it's a fun album, so I'm going to give it an RTO ranking of 7.5. Okay, coming in at number four, we have from 76, Impala Saga. First track on here is a very simple track called Hello Nadine. Simple guitar and simple, simple piano. You can't go wrong there. Next track. Never mind, I've still got my rock and roll. The structure is the song. is very Bob Dylan. You know, the simple guitar and harmonica. And Ray does a great vocal on it. Ain't Too Bad, a really good rock and roll, roll number with plenty of piano and Little Richard style. Very, very good. Too Fast. The lyrics are too fast. You don't know what he's saying half the time. Ain't Gonna Work No More, another good track. You just love that sort of rock and roll stuff. The title track is my favourite, Impala Saga. Uh, it's one of my favourite tracks, actually, by Mungo Jerry. I think the guitar solo is fantastic on this. It's just a great little song. It's a Secret. It's all right. Butler Beer, with, again, uh, on here. This is a great song, one of my favourites. Um, Get Down On Your Baby, a rockabilly song now, and I really like a bit of rockabilly. Hit Me, heavy bass line, really works. And then we got Never Mind, I've Still Got My, my Rock and Roll Reprise. Don't know why we've done that, but there you go. Very good album, one track on here that's a bit ugh, but on the whole we've got an excellent album. So I'll give it an RTO ranking of 7.6. Then we got to the top three. And I think these are the best three albums. That's the only the three albums I really know. Um, so coming in at number three from 1977, we have Love, Love in the Alleys Fighting. Loving in the Alleys Fighting in the Street, sorry. 
Ray Dorsett is on harp and vocals and guitar. Chris Warren's on the bass. Drums, Pete Sullivan and Colin Earl is on the keyboards. All that a woman should be. Love the drumming on here from Pete Sullivan. And we've got great vocal from Ray, as ever. Solid track. I know... I could never start start loving you. The bass and the drums on this is fantastic. Really drives the song along. Then we have the title tracks, Loving in the Alleys and Fighting in the Streets. There's a, there's one thing I don't sometimes like about Mungo Jerry. It's that bump, bump, bump sound in the, in the thing. It really annoys me. And there's a lot of that on there. It, it just irritates me. Then we have the Grease. I love the opening riff on this. Because <laughs> it sounds like all of the day and all of the night. <laughs> but, the <laughs> but there you go. Uh, the drumming's pretty cool on that. Then we have my favourite track on here. It's called The Dragster Queen. Uh, I love the riff. But there's that twinkly little bit of piano that really... Thing. Then we have Heavy Foot Stomp. Guess what? Yes, it sounds like Baby Jump. <laughs> Gone to Malaya, a little bit different. The guitar riff is a little bit off, but it works. Can't keep it down, a good track. Electric piano on it is quite funky. Gives it that little bit more groove. Loving in the morning, a typical Mongo Jerry track with a great upbeat, groovy bass, great drumming. Always a fun track to listen to. And the last one, Just Can't Say Goodbye. It's a bit of a bubblegum pop track, and I love it. <laughs> this album was fun. Everyone seems to be having a lot of fun with it. And I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.7. .7. Okay, coming in at number two. It's the debut album, released in 1970. And it's just called Mongo Jerry. So it's Ray Dorsey on lead vocals, acoustics, kazoo, stomp and tambourine, Paul King on... Acoustic, 6 and 12 string, banjos and the jug. Colin Earl, piano, Mike Cole, bass. First track is a cover of an Arthur Gunter song that, he, that Elvis Presley recorded. And it's called Baby Let's Play House. I love this song and I love Elvis's version. But I love this version as well. Then Johnny B. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a rock and roll track. And I love it. It's absolutely brilliant. Considering it's there's no sort of drumming on it, it's just a fantastic little song. San Francisco Bay Blues, which is a Jeff uh, Fuller song, great version of it. I do like that. Sad Eye Joe, really good track. Piano works, just a nice little track. Maggie, dominated by kazoos. <laughs> and a bit of harmonica. Actually, is one of my favourite songs by uh, by Mungo Jerry. Peace in the country. Once again, lots of kazoos. It just adds to the fun of the track, and you've got to tap your feet to it. Uh, see me. I love the boogie woogie on this, and here come the kazoos again. I've never had an album of Peter and so many kazoos. Brilliant stuff. Moving on. Now this has got a violin on it, which gives it the country feel. I really like that track. Then we have My Friend, and I love the guitar on this. There's a bit of slide guitar, which really adds to it. Same sort of arrangement in the summertime, mind you, but it's good. Then we have Mother Boogie. I love this. It's just boogie woogie pop. But I'll start again. It's boogie woogie piano, and I like boogie woogie piano. Then we have Tramp. Which is my favourite track on here. It's got a double bass, guitar, and a great vocal from Ray. Uh, the harmonica's brilliant on it. It's a brilliant. Then we have the last track, Daddy's Brew. Classic boogie-woogie piano, dominated by this great vocal um, by um, Ray. This is a great debut album. It's a little bit different. We haven't heard anything. You know, you no one had heard anything like this. I mean, it's a mixture of sort of country, acoustic, busking, with lots of kazoos. Great. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 7.8. But my number one album, 
and I think everyone would guess this one. It's their second album, uh, released in 1971, electronically tested. Ray Dorsett, Paul King, Colin Earl and John Godfrey, with Ray Biscuit on the recorder, and Roger Earl drums on Memoirs of a Stockbroker. First track on here is She Rode. This is the sort of music you can play anywhere. You don't need electric guitars. You just make up your drums as you go along. It's a fantastic. Then they do a, a long version of I Just Want to Make Love to You, the old Willie Dixon number covered by everyone. And they do a really good version of it. You forget that it's nine minutes long. Then we have the most no, greatest song they ever wrote. And everyone loves this. And, it, and it's in the summertime. Brilliant song. I love this. Always have. I remember it. That's the thing. I was only, what, three, four? But I remember this song. Somebody Stole My Wife. They carried on from their day about... Um, from their debut album with this sort of bustly sound with the, all sorts of instruments on. It's just wonderful. Then we have Baby Joe. Mm. I know a lot of people like this, but I've never been a great fan of this. I think it goes on a little bit too long, and there's not much to it. Although, I do like the guitar solo on it. Uh, the trouble is, it just... It's the clump, clump, trump. It really does get on your head. On your nerves after a little while. Follow me down. Now this is a foot tapping track, but it's a lot better. The piano is better. Then we have another of my favourites on here: Memoirs of a Stockbroker. The guitar is really good. Uh, one of my favourite tracks. You better leave that whiskey in there alone. Here come the banjo and the kazoo's. <coughs> it's a really fun track. I like that. And the last track is Coming Back to You When the Time Comes. Second favourite track on here. It's got that slow sort of pace and it's a great vocal from Ray. I do, okay, I, Baby Jump's not my favourite. It goes on a bit, but I do like this album all the th way through. It's got some fantastic fun tracks on here. And I think this is when they were at their peak. They peaked too early in their career. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 8 out of 10. Now that was interesting because I didn't realise how many albums that Mungo Jerry had made. Because um, they sort of disappeared off mainstream. But it's, it's an enjoyable collection. There's something on all the albums that's worth listening to. Um, so yeah, that was an interesting one. Okay, tomorrow. It's Thursday, which means it's Group E. Of Battle Royale and it's the electronic group now see if I can remember what we've got in there we've got a new way we've got the Motors David Bowie Blue Monday and I can't think of the other one I want to be adored there we go <laughs> so that's that tomorrow and also tomorrow it's pick and mix and it's in the camera's view and tomorrow we're going to be looking at War of the Worlds live on stage, the very first um, live performances of War of the Worlds from 2006. And don't forget about Battle Royale. The, clo the voting closes at 23.59 tonight. If you want to go and vote and you haven't, and you go to the community page and scroll down, you'll see the uh, little thingy where you can click on and go and vote. So have a great day everyone. The fog's lifted since this morning. It's just a long day now. So bye for now. <laughs>